Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Denise Nisha and I make planner, lifestyle, and beauty videos every week. So today is part one of my 10 part series called Makeup Tips and Tricks for Beginners. Yes, beginners. I'm going to be talking brows, highlight and contour, liner, lashes, easy eyeshadow techniques, and most importantly, beauty tools. All this that you see us use. What's a booty blender? All that great stuff. So each video is a short video that we only talk about one technique at a time. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit that subscribe button. If you want to be bad and bougie, you need the series, hit that subscribe button. Thank you, sis. And let's get ready to naturally highlight and contour our face. Let's go. So I'm starting off with a clean face. I moisturized with my moisturizer, my clarifying lotion. If you check my previous videos, you'll see that step. And now I'm going in with the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. I have my makeup preparation routine in the iCards. Go ahead and click on that video to see how I start the process. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and blend in my CoverGirl True Blend Matte Made Foundation. This is a awesome foundation and it's great for combination, dry or oily skin types. And just noticing I have freckles, I did not notice that before and I'm just finding out at 30 <clears throat> something-ish that I have freckles. And um, you know what, I am not flawless, but trust me, by the end of this video, I will be. Love yourself, love your freckles, child. Now I'm gonna go in with my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade 55 Hazelnut. And that has a kind of orange, reddish undertone, and that's perfect for canceling darkness. So if you're lighter, you want something with a peachy undertone, that would cancel, cancel blue. And if you're darker, something with the orangey undertone, that will cancel more purple tones. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and take my e.l.f. Flawless Concealer Brush and blend out that correcting concealer under my eye. And you wanna be gentle with it. This is a very delicate area of your face. And when I say correcting concealer, it's just a concealer that is very close to your shade, your skin tone. So now I'm gonna go in with my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer and I'm gonna use this concealer. It's about two shades lighter than my complexion to highlight, to bring light to the areas of my face, like your forehead, well, not the five head. If you got a five head like me, you want to stay away from over highlighting your forehead and use more contour around the perimeter. So I'm just gonna put a little bit on the five head down the bridge of your nose, underneath your eyes in upside down triangles. Don't get too high underneath your creases or the concealer will collect in the creases and look terrible over time. And on top of the lip and under the chin. Like I said before, you don't want to concentrate that highlighter right up underneath your eyes because they will settle in those five fine lines. So start a little bit below like you see in the video. And if this is your first time highlighting, instead of putting the line down your nose, just use the dot method. You're gonna put about three or four dots along your nose and then highlight the rest of the face as previously stated. Now I prefer using the Maybelline Fit Me line of concealers for highlighting and contouring because they build well on other products. I'm gonna go ahead and blend out that concealer and you want concealer that is a satin finish, meaning that it's not too matte and you don't want it to be full coverage either because you're now building these products to create that highlight and contour. So if you keep putting matte products on top of matte products, full coverage on top of full coverage, you will look cakey in person and it'll look like you have on layers of makeup. So I recommend correcting with a full coverage concealer and highlighting with a more medium coverage concealer. But girl, use what you got. You know, do what we do with what we got. <laughs> See, that's what we're looking for in that T area underneath our eyes. See, we wanna eat cake, we don't wanna look like it. So make sure we're not packing on the wrong product. Now I'm gonna take my e.l.f. setting powder in tan. Um, it's the matte setting powder and I'm trying this one out. I do like it. I also use the Milani setting powder in shade number two a lot and that's a great powder as well. I'm gonna bake my nose, meaning I'm gonna use my e.l.f. camo sponge, dip it in the powder, and I'm going to put a lot of the powder specifically down the bridge of my nose. One, it's gonna highlight it. Two, I get pretty oily in those areas, so I'm gonna let it sit. 
I'm also going to put some powder on top of my lip because personally, I get oily on top of my lip and my chin. I'm only gonna put a little bit of powder underneath my eyes and press that in so that my concealer doesn't move, but I'm not gonna bake under my eyes because my eyes, under my eyes are dry. So if you notice when you wear concealer that you have like crepey under eyes, you just don't put that much powder. You just need to put enough to set the concealer so it doesn't move. So a tip for using the beauty sponge is when you're packing it under your eye, you're just pressing it in and blending in that powder. You'll see it start to disappear. But when you're going down your nose, and I use the word baking, I'm gonna bake down my nose because I want to absorb the oil over time. And you wanna use the point and get that line as thin as possible, even thinner than what I have on the, the video. Now I'm gonna go in with another Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade Dark Coffee, shade 70. That was the darkest shade they had at Target, but I'm pretty sure on their website they have darker. And these are really good concealers to use for beginners for highlighting and contouring because they could layer on top of other products very easily and they won't cake up. So I'm going to go around the perimeter of my face and I'm going to put dots. Don't swipe. Don't use lines. It's going to be much harder to blend out. You're going to put dots around your hairline and halfway um, around your, your cheekbone, your jaw, where they tell you to make that fish face. You're only going to go halfway. Then I'm going to use my sculpting brush by Real Techniques. It's really a dense brush, so it's going to blend it out and it's angled, so it's going to be easy to pat in that cheek area, you know, to get that chiseled supermodel cheeks. So we're gonna go ahead and blend that out. You wanna start with a little bit at first, and if you need to go back and add more, it's better to go back and add more than to have to blend it away and lose some of your foundation. Also, you saw me point to my hairline. Just make sure that you blend it all the way to your hairline. You don't wanna have you know, a line of demarcation there and it looks pale right by your hairline. Now you're gonna go ahead and take the same concealer and make a couple dots along your jaw. That's going to kind of snatch that jaw and get rid of the double chin if you have it going on. See, like now my chin is skinny. Looks like I've been doing chin sit-ups. Go ahead with the skinny chin. So now don't forget though to take that concealer and pull it back down to your neck so that it's not just one straight line across your jaw. Now I'm gonna take that same concealer and if you notice, two small dots. Where beginners, you're starting out, you could always add more, but you don't want to have too much concealer at the time you're doing this. Now I'm gonna take that concealer and I'm using my Real Techniques Expert Concealer Brush, amazing brush for those small areas, must have. And that's the perfect brush to really carve out the contour of my nose. So I'm gonna go from my eye socket all the way down and then back up, and that's gonna give me the exact placement of where my contour needs to be. Then I'm going to blend down to get rid of those harsh edges and then put a little contour at the bottom of my nose. That's gonna give it a really nice shape, okay? Then I'm gonna go back with that sponge and blend out the sides. You don't want your contour to be so harsh that when people are looking at you, they see two lines down your nose, but you do wanna create a shadow. So you do need to go in with that sponge and just blend the side of your nose when you're done just to make sure that, like I said, there's no harsh line. Now I'm going back in with my e.l.f. Camel sponge and it's such a small sponge and it's dry that you can get really wherever you need to get in your nose to blend anything out. So I'm using the sponge dry right now. So now I'm gonna use one of my favorite products of all time. I use this so much in all my videos. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, sis, but it's amazing. You need to go buy it. It's the Black Radiance True Complexion Contour Palette. My shade is medium to dark, but they have light to medium and then dark to deep dark. So I'm gonna take the contour shade and a fan brush, uh, tongue tied, fan brush, 
a fan brush from Eco Tools. I hope they still sell it, but any fan brush will do. And I'm gonna go around the contour of my the edges or my hairline. Well, technically it's your edges, but I'm going around my hairline um, with that fan brush with the contour shade. And that's one, what I'm using to set the concealer and two, to deepen the color. So I'm actually gonna contour and highlight using this palette only. So when you're putting that contour powder on your concealer, that is when your face is going to pop. That is when it's going to say, hey, sis, I'm home. I'm here. Let's go out. Let's go do something tonight. That's when you start to feel jazzy your best. When you hit that face with that contour powder, that is when the shape really comes to life. Look at that. Looking like a bronze goddess. It's just banging right now. And I'm just gonna go in the sides very lightly with that fan brush and just tap a little powder and um, on the sides of my nose. Don't go heavy, not there yet. So the sculpt shade in this palette, I'm gonna use that to blend the line between my contour and my highlight. You could also use it to set your whole face. So I'm going in with my Morphe E1 powder brush and I'm just using that as my setting powder basically. Um, and I'm gonna use that to blend everything in so there's, it's all seamless. We don't have like connect the dots on your face, no harsh lines. And then I'm gonna go in with that miracle sponge, that camel sponge, and cut a line right underneath where my jawline is. So you see me sucking my face, doing the, the fish cheeks. I'm gonna do the fish cheeks just so I know exactly where I want that contour powder to stop. So it's nice and sharp. And we're gonna use that sculpt shade to cut our cheeks. I just made that up, I don't know if that's real. Cut the cheeks. So now I'm gonna take that highlighter shade and I'm using a MAC stippling brush, but a great alternative that I just couldn't find at the time was the Real Techniques setting brush. You're gonna go along the top of your cheek. If you smile, you'll see that C and right above your eyebrow to deposit that highlighter and that's gonna give you a shine. And then you also take that highlighter down the bridge of your nose and then the tip of your nose. So that's where we wanna concentrate the highlighting powder. Now, once I'm done with my highlight, I'm gonna do the rest of my face off camera and each video will be dedicated to different steps. So I'm not gonna go into that in this video, but I'm gonna go do the rest of my face and then come back. So this is the finished look. Brows, eyes, lips, everything. So this is my finished look. So highlighting contouring. Are we gonna do it every single time we leave the house? No, but if you're going somewhere special or you're taking pictures or you're gonna be on camera, you definitely do wanna highlight and contour your face because it's gonna bring definition, life. It's gonna make your foundation not look flat. It's gonna make your face, you know, thinner and, you know, more cut and chiseled. So yes, for special occasions, it is a must have, must do step. And it really wasn't that hard. We only used about six products. So all we need is our foundation, our setting powder, three concealers, one that's two to three shades lighter, one that we're gonna use to correct that has an orange tint, and one that's two to three shades darker for contouring, and our contour kit that had all of our powders. Easy peasy, super simple. So thank you for watching. Give this a try. Uh, let me know what you want to see in the next beginner series. Comment below. And please, when you highlight and contour for your photo, tag me on Instagram. I'm Denise Tanisha XOXO. Girl, I know the makeup game is not an easy one, but you got this, girl. You got it. Go out there, be fabulous, and I'll see you in the next one.